Okay, uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, you all know I've been up here practically 14 years among some of you guys, and uh, I uh, took this up in 2000, year 1999, year 2000, and I graduated a spiritual group called the Star Hope Ministry downtown Houston. I finished this course and I had great leaders and teachers that taught me how to do some things pertaining to the Word of God. I'd like to share something with you all from this book, mm -hmm. this Holy Bible, and a message from Dr. Charles Stanley. In my first book of the message is Love, 1 John 4 and 16. We have come to know and have believed the love which God has for us. God is love. And he, the love, the one who abides in love abides in God, and God abides in him. 1 John 4 and 16. I'd like to read something pertaining to what he's saying. Do you believe in the love God has for you? Do you trust his love? That is, isn't like human love, which is unreasonable, reliable, and may wound you but is unconditional and he always works for your good. The reason Jesus left his heavenly home took the form of a bond servant, lived it in improvised and sacrificial earthly life and when died one for the most extravagant death in history was to have a relationship with you and me and us, that how much he cares about you, me, and us, desire to reveal himself to you and long to live with you forever. You may doubt that today because you know your faith, failing, and every reason why others should care for you. The pain of rejection can go so deep that accepting God's unconditional love may be a challenge. But that doesn't change the fact that Jesus loved you deeply, brothers and sisters. Openly and without fault, fail, you absolutely cannot stop him loving you. So stop telling yourself he doesn't embrace his love and love him in return. Mm. Jesus, sometimes I just don't feel like I deserve you, but you have made me acceptable. Help me know and fulfill your love. Amen. Amen. It was another one, but I don't want to take up a lot of people's time. Maurice, if it's okay with you, I can read it. And it comes from the book of the Gospel of Matthew, when Jesus spoke to his disciples, he had them all together around him. And reading from the Beatitude, he said this, Beatitude, and seeing the multitude, they went into a mountain. He went up into a mountain, and when he was set, his disciples came unto him. And he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for there is a kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall be uh, shall obtain mercy. Blessed are they poor in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for there is a kingdom of heaven. <coughs> Blessed are ye when men shall reveal ye and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad. For great is your reward in heaven. For so they prosecuted, they suffered, and they shall 
were before ye. Ye, shall, ye are the salt of the earth. But if the salt shall lose its favor, wherewith shall it be salted? It is trend forth good for nothing, but to be cast out and be trodden underfoot. Ye are the light of the world, a city that is set on a hill and not hid. 